The School Improvement Grant Program was begun by the federal government in 2009 to provide extra help to persistently lowest achieving schools and to advance educational reform efforts across the country. We'll talk to Wilma Geidel, the district's director of federal programs, about how the School Improvement Grant Program is making a difference in Des Moines next on Classroom Connections. Hi, and welcome to Classroom Connections, a public affairs discussion on issues important to students, teachers, and parents in the Des Moines Public Schools. I'm your host, Sarah Taylor. The federally funded School Improvement Grant, or SIG program, provides additional support and focus to help turn around schools identified as persistently lowest achieving. Des Moines Public Schools currently has six schools receiving assistance through the School Improvement Grant program. Wilma Geidel, Director of Federal Programs, is here today to tell us more about this program. Thank you for joining me. Glad to be here, Sarah. So, Wilma, tell us how these grants are administered and how long do they last? The Iowa Department of Education applies to the United States Department of Education for these funds, and then schools in Iowa that are deemed persistently lowest achieving have an opportunity to apply. And each one of these grants lasts for three school years. Okay. So in Des Moines, we have six schools that are SIG schools. And um, which schools are they? And what are the expectations? Um, we have six schools, four, excuse me, yes, four in our first cohort. And that first cohort started in the 2010-11 um, school year. And that's North High School, Edmonds Elementary School, and Weeks and Hoyt Middle Schools. And then we had a second cohort that began in the fall of 2011, and that includes Finley Elementary and Harding Middle Schools. Okay. And basically, these funds are awarded for two purposes. One is to provide assistance um, to students in those schools to benefit um, achievement and to raise achievement. Mm -hmm. It's also aimed at um, providing opportunities to advance school reform. Okay. So how exactly have the, the SIG grants helped the learning environment at these schools? Well, in general, um, schools have the opportunity to, to do such things as provide you know, high quality professional development opportunities above and beyond what Des Moines Public Schools already offers those schools mm -hmm. and typically in areas that the um, schools are basing their reform efforts on. Um, they also are using them to um, promote efforts to use data to implement um, particular programs that they are wanting to provide to their students and data to um, identify uh, different, excuse me, differentiated instruction for students. Um, many of the schools also have looked at establishing schedules um, that have um, afforded them additional time to work with students during the school day. Okay, great. So what are some of the unique uh, programs that each of the six schools have begun? Well, each of the schools have really approached this a little bit differently. Um, at North High School, um, North in the 2011-12 school year became the largest school in the state of Iowa to implement a one-to-one -one laptop initiative. So every student in, at North High School is issued a laptop to use for instructional purposes there. Mm -hmm. um, North has also worked very hard to um, expand their advanced placement program, both in terms of the number of offerings they have and the number of students who are participating in advanced placement courses. And those are just two examples at North. Um, Harding Middle School one of the things they have focused on is their behavior first system. And it really is a system that is, their, you know, their bottom line is to increase student achievement, but they're beginning to approach it through the culture and climate of the school. And one of the things that they're doing, one of the important components is what they're calling their Wolf Pack, okay. which is a student leadership group that promotes um, positive school climate and culture. Mm -hmm. um, Hoyt Middle School, during this school year, the 12-13 um, school year, and they've been working towards this the last couple of years, but they have rolled out a response to intervention initiative for literacy there. 
and response to intervention basically is an opportunity to do um, both screening and diagnosing of um, student achievement and then providing appropriate interventions for those students and monitoring their achievement and they're already seeing some very positive results from this. Um, and then Weeks Middle School really has uh, provided just a laser-like focus on attendance, tardiness, and office referrals. Again, in an, oper in an, in an effort to um, improve the learning environment so students are ready to learn. Um, they've also emphasized writing in every one of their classes, um, regardless of the subject matter. And um, students have been trained, excuse me, teachers have also been trained in a process called teacher to teacher reflections, which is an opportunity for peer observations to help better instruction at weeks. Okay. Um, Edmonds has adopted the responsive classroom model, which, um, similar to some of the things that have been done at um, Harding is a focus on climate and culture and um, they're focusing on increasing student achievement through focusing in on um, student behavior and really providing a framework for teachers and students to to ensure positive student behavior. And then Finley, Finley really had uh, has a unique situation there mm -hmm. in that school improvement grant schools were provided the opportunity to apply for a special turnaround arts um, grant. And Finley is one of eight schools across the country who are both a SIG school and a turnaround um, arts school. And they are promoting literacy and mathematics through the arts. And one of the wonderful opportunities they've had this year is Forrest Whitaker is serving as a mentor for the students at uh, Finley and he's been there already once yeah. to work with students. How exciting. So it sounds like there's some great progress being made at these schools. Um, what is the future of the School Improvement Grant Program? Will the grants be continued? Well, four of our schools, this is their last year, um, North, Edmonds, Weeks, and Hoyt. It's a four, excuse me, a three-year program, and this is the third year. Mm -hmm. Finley and um, Harding both have one more year. Mm -hmm. And the hope is that the um, Iowa Department of Education will be applying again for federal funds in the winter of 2014 and that a new cohort would then be established in 2014-15. So it would also, like this time, would be a competitive grant opportunity and schools would apply and the department would make um, the determination about which of those schools would be awarded funds. Okay. Well, Wilma, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for the opportunity to share. And thank you for joining us. Don't forget, this and all other Classroom Connections episodes are available on our website. For Classroom Connections, I'm Sarah Taylor. Thanks for watching.